Thank you very much, Stephen. We'll start here this afternoon. South Africa cannot count on future economic growth to solve the country's unskilled and semi-skilled unemployment problem. That's according to the PwC, which has today released its ninth South Africa Economic Outlook Report for 2022 and calls for the country to build the skills of South Africa's labor force to increase employability. For more on this, we are joined by Dr. Christy Felyun, who is an economist with PwC and one of the authors of the report. Dr. Felyun, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. For the past two days, we've been talking about the unemployment levels. Usually, such reports on economic outlook look at business environment, macroeconomic factors such as inflation, growth prospects. But in this report, Dr. Felyun, you solely focus on jobs, skills, and unemployment. Why was that? Well, we have many, many challenges as a country. Uh, in the intro, there was mention of electricity. Uh, we know inflation, the cost of food, cost of fuel is very high at this stage, and there's been a lot of analysis of that in this year so far. And we thought that another point we need to touch on, which is, might not be as prominent at the moment, is the issue about skills and unemployment, especially because we've seen some positive labor data for the past few quarters. Uh, we just wanted to highlight that as a country who still has the highest unemployment rate in the world, we need to think about skills now because developing skills is a long-term need and it's something that can take a long time to get implemented. Uh, we cannot forget about the skills challenges that we are facing because we have many others to deal with at the moment. It's still a very pressing matter that it's going to determine our long-term economic sustainability. The report is also quite uh, scary when it estimates that uh, although 350,000 new jobs will be needed every year for new job seekers, this is far below the 200,000 jobs that PwC uh, estimates uh, are expected to be created each year. Basically, you are saying the unemployment levels in South Africa will actually breach 40% by 2030, a figure that currently stands at 33.9 percent. Why? Well, we looked at the, the forecast that we made for job creation. Uh, you look at how fast the economy is growing and how many jobs will be created. But then you also have to look at the speed by which the labor force is growing. Just because we've got population growth, we've got people that finish school, high school, university, college, whatever that might be. And, and the speed at which we are creating jobs is not enough to keep up with this growth in the amount of people that actually need jobs. So when you've got a slower speed of job growth and the amount of people are growing much faster, it means that that unemployment rate keeps rising. Uh, and, and we've got different scenarios we're looking at, but if you look at sort of a, a bit of a pessimistic scenario, we could look at an unemployment rate of about 40% by the end of this decade. Um, and I think it's a number that makes us sit up and think about this more seriously. We already have the highest unemployment rate in the world and all the the challenges with that, and, and it's possible that over the next few years and towards 2030, it could get worse if we don't get the right things in place to fix these skills challenges. Something that I found quite missing is uh, the uh, uh, discussion on entrepreneurship, something that uh, we know small businesses in South Africa employ a lot of people uh, when compared to your mid-cap companies and companies that are listed on the JSE. Is entrepreneurship something that is quite important that we should be focusing on rather than uh, just encouraging uh, skills development um, for people to go out there to meet Merely look for jobs. Entrepreneurship is very important. Uh, it's a case of even when someone has skills, when they have an education, when they have training, there might not be a job out there. And we see that, for example, in th there's more than 700,000 unemployed South Africans that actually have some kind of tertiary qualification. So it doesn't mean that they don't have the skills, there's just not a job out there. So plan B would be for them to create their own job, create their own small business, be an entrepreneur. So for us, it's very important to consider the role that 
for example, universities and colleges can play in providing entrepreneurship training to people that are studying not just business and finance, which you sort of automatically think that those go together, but all kinds of different fields of study. People will need to be able to create more jobs for themselves in the future. And that then has the ability to create more jobs from there. Small business is where jobs come from. It's not the medium and the large companies. It's not the public sector, but globally. Small business is where jobs come from. And that's part of the idea behind let's boost entrepreneurship training and the ability of people to create their own jobs. Then they are less dependent on the state. They are less dependent on other people providing them an income. And then eventually they can actually create more jobs by themselves. Uh, around the world, we've heard about uh, the great resignation, uh, something that we have not experienced here or experienced it differently in uh, South Africa. Why is that? Because the report also speaks about uh, the great resignation not being felt in a similar way here at home. It's in South Africa, it's been a bit different. So the, the story we're getting globally is that people uh, on the, the lower and the middle side of the income bracket, many of them have decided, I'm not going to go back to my job after the pandemic. I've got another option at home. I've got a, a side hustle that I can develop, for example. In the case of South Africa, there are so many people in that income level that, that doesn't have a job that the resignations have actually been higher up in the higher income levels where people that previously maybe worked in an office every day and then for a year or two during COVID, they then worked at home, took their laptop and they worked from home. Now they have to get back to the office and many of them don't want to. And then they start looking at alternatives. So that's why this so-called great resignation is looking different in our country, where the, the options to not continue in your job, it's not as widespread as in many other countries. It's more in the, the higher levels of the income brackets. In your report, you say the, the jobless crisis in the country carries with it some social risks uh, for South Africa. And of course, we've seen uh, those warnings from other quarters where South Africa is listed among the countries where civil unrest, similar to the one that we actually experienced last year in KZN and Kauteng, is actually vulnerable as a country. We are vulnerable to similar unrest. This report speaks about that as well. Well, well, if we look globally, and this is not just in South Africa, we have got countries with high unemployment and especially high youth unemployment. You will see lots of social pressures because you'll have this big group of people that don't have an income. They, they don't have something that they get up and go to every day. They finish school. They're unemployed. And this is a recipe in, in many countries, many economies for social challenges and social ills. And we as a country, we, we see and we feel the challenges we have with poverty and inequality because people don't have enough jobs. There aren't enough jobs in the economy. So whenever we talk about unemployment, and especially when we talk about the increase in unemployment, it always raises those red flags about just the stability of society, the sustainability of the type of economy that we have. And like I said, it's, it's a challenge for us in the wake of COVID-19. It's a challenge for many developing countries and emerging markets. It's not unique to our situation, but obviously our focus as South Africans is on the, the health of our own society and our communities. Dr. Christy Felyun is the economist and author of the South African Economic Outlook by PwC, warning that by 2030 we could be seeing an unemployment crisis reaching levels never have been seen before at 40% um, when it comes uh, to uh, the narrow definition of unemployment.